Hello, welcome to my latest video on Saturday the 2nd of July and I hope you're all keeping well and happy whatever you're doing. I'm going to be painting on this little um, canvas panel that I found knocking about my studio and uh, it's about it's about 10 by 8 inches I think looking at that I don't oh, you know I'll have to uh, get my measuring stick out if I can find it. <laughs> my granddad's measuring stick. Oh no, it was miles off, bloody hell. That's uh, 12 by 10. Yeah, oh yeah, 12 by 10. There we are. I'm normally quite good at judging the sizes just by looking at them, not today. Right, anyway, I've just uh, coated it with a Thin layer of liquid white so it's still nice and wet and uh, we'll start doing so just uh, give this brush a wipe from yesterday forgot to clean it there we go unlike you know if you forget to clean your brush and you're using acrylics it dries and really destroys the brush but um with oils you can afford to leave it a day or two it's still wet but uh, I, was, I was clean afterwards i just forgot for some reason yesterday well anyway i can put some uh oh yeah my colors i've got titanium white um a bit of uh cadmium yellow pale hue got some cobalt blue i've got some cadmium red deep hue got bits of um, burnt sienna, I've got sap green with uh, some red mixed in make a nice earthy colour and a bit of Payne's grey and moonseed oil which true to form I forgot to put on my palette there we go right, anyway we'll get going start waving my arms about yeah hope you're all doing well thank you for all of your likes and your comments and subscribing close to 200 subscribers now so it's uh yeah skyrocketing right off we go start the sky as i've said plenty of times before this isn't a tutorial it's just me painting but if you pick up any inspiration and ideas it'll be great and likewise if you've got any ideas for me Feel free to let me know. I'm always open to a little bit of constructive criticism. Because I've been, I've only been painting seriously for about two and a half years, something like that. You know, painting all the time. Whenever I get the chance. Oh God, bloody that's a good start, isn't it? You know, I've got this bloody bomb-proof easel, and I didn't mount the canvas on properly. <laughs> Silly. There we are. Hopefully, that'll stay. I do tend to get a bit excited with my bush strokes. Soften those edges up a bit. There we go. A bit more down here. Let's drag it down. I always try to have dark up here going down to light at the bottom, sort of draws the iron. It doesn't always work mine, but that's what I always try and do. dark up here right that's a start it's not doing some of this uh, horizon now might uh, get me palette knives I've got my broken palette knife which I'll still carry on using 
here. I'll just use it, what the heck. And get some sap green, I think. Start putting some stuff here. There we are. Nice weather over Wales at the minute. Not bad at all. Got back from the RSPB where I volunteer in my spare time. It's nice. That's my uh, peopling quota done. Yeah, I do a bit of peopling every week and then uh, glad to get back in my studio. There we go. Oh, it's almost like a person just there. Stood on the rocks. Right, put a bit of titanium white on palette knife. Check my camera's still actually on. Hope I'm not talking to myself. Yep, it is. That's good. Put a bit, yeah, titanium white on this horizon. Part knife for wipe with the old kitchen towel. Yeah, yesterday I was nattering about growing up in the village where we used to live during the eighties and nineties. Yeah, it used to be good fun uh, at winter time, sledging. In farmer's fields and things. Well, was that's permission. But yeah, some right good times. We, we lived at, um, it was a limestone area so all the rocks were all bloody jagged sharp things and you know if, if you came a crop on those rocks you'd it'll cut you open literally and uh, there was a friend of mine he'd been sledging I wasn't there at the time and uh, he fell off his bloody um, sledge and went an absolute cropper on the um, limestone outcrop and it uh, cut into ribbons you know he had a great big scar down his thigh so it uh, opened his leg up and uh, he was piled into his dad's car and taken to the cottage hospital or somewhere like that and because uh, where we live it was reasonably remote so um we tended to, if we got injured, we'd be piled in a parent's car and whisked off to the cottage hospital. The bloody closed most co cottage hospitals now. He'd been hard pushed to get one. So, um, yeah, he, uh, he came around, bloody copper. Um, what to do now? A bit more palette knife stuff, I think. Give that another clean. Rocks. A 
just there. The paint's grey up here. That's really where my paintings come from. My time growing up in the Peak District. Mm, well, let's have a look. Get my long handled filbert brush, which I bloody lost. What the hell is it? Oh my god. Oh, that one will do. Yeah, that one will do. And just. Some stuff down here. Nice and fast. tend to paint fast as you know, I just don't have the patience to sit for hours, hours and hours. I do sometimes, depends what mood I'm in. Yeah, I always paint a la prima. Yeah, we, we used to have some right snowball fights in the village. Especially in the local churchyard, you know, plenty of places to hide. Yeah, used to like village life. That red is helpful. Nice contrasts going on. Getting there, slowly but surely. Right, I'll do some more of this sky. Let's have a think about what we're going to do. Might get my same brush again, just give it a quick clean with the kitchen roll. Excuse me, reaching across the camera. Quick wipe. Have some residue still on the brush, but it sometimes helps. Just churn that sky up a little. Could have afforded to have the horizon a bit lower, but um, it'll do. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I remember at primary school I was in the in the football team. I couldn't play bloody football to save my life. But uh, yeah, I was in the team, and um, my dad bought me a, um, a Liverpool strip. And uh, mid eighties, you're talking. So it was it was when they were sponsored by Crown Paints. 
you know, I had the full works, I had bloody Liverpool shorts, Liverpool top, um, the boots, I had shin pads, socks, everything, so I was bright red. I looked like a right bloody nana. I used to think I was in Rush. And during the summer, the playing fields would uh, dry like bloody concrete. And it, it reminded me, as I was talking to a friend today, about, you know, falling over during school on the on the football field or whatever and it'd be bone dry with great big cracks in it like a bloody desert but yeah you haven't lived until you've uh, scuffed your knees on that yeah this is coming on reasonably nicely not bad at all i wonder i'll put some red on the end of my brush and just go like that let's see what happens Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not perfect, not bad. Right, let's have another look. See what else we need to do. Um, palette knife again. Get me broken one. Put some stuff over here, there we go. One thing I was reasonably good at at school was hockey. There used to be a goal in, you know, hockey. I was quite good at that. I think I had good reactions. Spot that yellow. But the, the school I went to, uh, secondary school, was uh, Lady Manners in Bakewell. And it was a big rugby school. And, um, you know, it, it, if you were like me, yeah, you had to do rugby. You had no bloody choice. But if you were like me, you know, bloody back then two stone wet through, you'd have no flaming chance. I used to hate it. Hated rugby. I didn't understand what was going on most of the time. And, uh, yeah, I was terrified of getting flattened. I only, I only ever scored one try at the school. But yeah, you know, I, I just, I played rugby well because I had to and I freaking hated it. And, uh, but the, you had, you, you always had kids who uh, had all the gear, you know, the bloody helmet and freaking um, gum shields and flipping tape around the ears and all that. And then there was me. With knobbly knees. I didn't have any of that stuff. Absolutely hated rugby. I, I don't. I don't watch rugby now, or football for that matter. Much rather paint. Right, we're getting there quite nicely, not bad. Right, where's my flat brush? Just put some stuff on. Mm. 
Yeah, I didn't particularly enjoy P at school. Yeah, I, was, I don't know. I was fit, I suppose. I used to enjoy cross country and all that stuff to a certain extent. But I was uh, I was quite happy making pots. Did quite well in ceramics in school. But um, I couldn't paint. Or draw, couldn't do any of that. <laughs> Let's face it, it's done can't bloody paint now. But I've learnt that it doesn't matter. It's about enjoying it. Not giving up. Could easily be uh, up on the moors somewhere in Derbyshire, this scene. Somewhere in the Peak District. A few rocks and stuff. Not looking too bad. Right then, let's have a look. Some quite interesting cloud formations going on. I might exploit them a bit, put a bit of titanium white on the end of there, on my palette knife, and just whack some of that on. There we go. And a little bit up here as well. So far so good. It's kind of helped that little bit of pink there, I think. Bit more titanium white up here. And up there as well. Right then. Summary scene. In the P district. Oh, it could be wherever you want. Beauty about art, it uh, takes you places. Right, turn this sky up a bit. A lot of my paintings in the sky, you know, faces and things show up. Or oh, birds. Oh, it's happened again. Would you believe it? Come on, John. Oh, the hell. There we go. Yeah, it was interesting to see what emerges in the sky. I never normally notice anything, then people say after, oh, there's a face there, or oh, there's an animal, or whatever, you know. Right, where's my palette knife again? Put a bit more white on. Um, just there maybe, there we go, yep, that's it, right, I think we are just about there, might put a bit more yellow in,
yeah i think that'll do it's not not perfect but it doesn't matter it's a painting that's the important thing scratches a bit more burnt sienna down here I reckon ah, I think that looks just about dandy. I think the job is a good one, just about. Yeah, it'll do for me. Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Short and sweet. So yeah, turned out all right. Oh, I need a signature on, don't I? Do that. Uh, where's my liner bush? Where's the beauty? Give it a quick sign. Uh, J Kid 22. Oh, wrong colour. Mm -hmm. My shaky hands. Well, I was like to put date on the end. Right, yeah, that is just about dandy. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and everything like that. I'm also on johnkid.co.uk, Facebook and Instagram. So thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye bye.